Good afternoon, ma'am, and a heartiest welcome to you here. Okay. Very, very good afternoon, and thank you for having me here. Thank you so much. It's so kind of you. Ma'am, would you like to share with you, with us, your journey, and uh, how did you come to legal profession and profession, and how has your journey been so far? Should I take it? Yeah. So, uh, I started way back in '97. Uh, uh, I started with a small law firm, then moved to a boutique firm, then went to another firm. But my uh, desire was always to be part of corporate. So I got my first corporate job with Seagram's then and Panorica now. And then uh, from there, uh, it's been a long journey. Then I got an opportunity to be in the States in a company called Honeywell. Uh, so I was part of their uh, legal team in the U.S. and working between India and U.S. Then I moved to Converges and I became the head of legal for Asia. Uh, from there I moved, I have made a, made a few moves. Then I moved in a similar industry like United Health Group. Then I also worked as a general counsel for Yum Brands, the guys who own KFC, Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. And just four and a half years ago, I became part of Vodafone Group. Uh, I am part of Vodafone India Services Private Limited, which is a uh, IT and IT enabled company. And I handle two roles here. I'm the general counsel for the for this organization globally, yeah, and uh, I also head the India Center as the managing director of the company. That's my short synopsis of what I've done so far. Ma'am, you call it short, but it is huge and it's fighting for us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, now would you like to take us to what your opinion has been on uh, International Women's Day and how we are celebrating it? How would you recognize Indian National Bar Association's efforts for it? I think this is a brilliant effort. I think, uh, uh, you know, that I, I, in my organization, it's a big deal for us, right? We do it, we celebrate international women for a week, yeah? Uh, but I think one thing that we all need to sort of really consciously be talking about is unconscious bias. While there's lots being said about women and doing stuff about women, but what we don't talk about is unconsciously we, we have that biases uh, inherent, you see? For a parent, uh, if he has to buy a toy for his child, for their child, they will probably buy a car for a boy and a kitchen set for a girl. Now that is unconscious bias. The parent is not mindfully creating that difference, but unconsciously kitchen equals girl and car and gun equals boys. I think that mindset, you know, I think we need to start working on that. I think there's lots said about women and women's day but probably time to start looking at unconscious bias that exists in the society. Yeah, sure. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, your journey speaks volumes about your courage, your mindfulness, and your uh, drive, your passion for working in such big great organizations so thank you ma'am for having us have fun thank and you being so much. here for being here thank sorry ma'am ma thank you thank very you, much god bless